Cool, what's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com, continuing our series on learning to model in SketchUp in 30 days. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to create these 2D components that always face the camera inside of SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so you might be wondering why you would use 2D face me components when you can use 3D components like this. And there's a lot of different reasons. So one of the reasons is it just gives you a different style of your models. So it's a fast, easy way to add context and detail to your model without having to worry too much about going and finding 3D detail. Another thing is they're much lighter. So. For example, if I was to click inside of this tree and do a control A, notice how this object right now is made up of over 10,000 entities, edges, faces, other things like that. That can really slow down your SketchUp model in a hurry, where if I triple click in this object, I've got 223 entities, but I'm still able to indicate a tree without having to have all this additional stuff. So let's talk about how we could create a component like this. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import an image that I downloaded and I think it just came from Wikipedia, but I'm gonna bring in an image of a tree. So I'm just gonna bring this in and we're just gonna call it an image right here. And we'll just size it to however big we want it to be. Um, so however big we want our tree to be. So this is probably good for right now. And so there's really two things you need to do in order to do this. The first is to trace out the object that you want to create and add a little bit of detail. So, and this is one of the few instances actually where I use the freehand tool. So if I click on line right here and I go into freehand, what that's going to allow me to do is that's going to allow me to draw on top of this face right here in order to add parts of my object. And usually when you're creating these 2D face me components, you just want to look at them and you just want to create them. Uh, you don't have to be ultra precise with them, but you wanna create them where you create faces for each one of the individual um, colors or materials that's in here. And then you just wanna kinda of like detail them out, right? And again, I'm not getting ultra detailed in here. I'm just kinda of following the general shape of the tree, like this. And then once you get this drawn, you can either erase out or hide your image right here, but then I'm just gonna apply materials to it real quick. So we're just gonna go into our materials and we're gonna pick a green material and we're gonna pick a brown material like this. And then we're gonna take this whole thing and we're gonna put it in a group. So we're just gonna click on make group like this. Well now, what I wanna do is first off, I'm gonna align this with my ground plane right here, but I wanna make this an object that's going to face my camera. That way, when I rotate like this, it'll turn to rotate the camera for face the camera with me. And so to do that in the free version of SketchUp, you just go into your components section right here, and there's two options, right? There's the 3D warehouse, and then there's the home, which is gonna show you the components that are inside of your model. So in this case, right, this object isn't showing up in here yet. The reason it's not showing up in here is I right clicked on it and I made it a group. So I wanna right click on this and click make component. Well, when you make the component and we can call it large tree, if you scroll down, there's an option here for always face camera. And so what always face camera is going to do is it's gonna take your tree and it's gonna make it so no matter where you move your camera, your tree is going to rotate along with it. Now, notice how one thing I don't really like about this is this is rotating based on this corner point right here, right? It's not rotating based on where the trunk is, which is where it should rotate from, um, because we wanna place this using the trunk and have it always be in that location. And so the way that we can fix that is we can double click inside of our object and notice how our object axes are over here on the left-hand side. Well, what we wanna do is we wanna come in here and we wanna click on the little tape measure and then we wanna go find our axes right here. And then we wanna click and we wanna set a base point of our tree at the base of our trunk. So I'm gonna put this just slightly lower, but we wanna place the axes central to this tree. So I'm going to click to place this, then I'm gonna click out of this, and it's gonna ask if I wanna update the component axes, and the answer is okay. And so now, when this rotates, Notice how it's now rotating around that central point right here instead of around this corner point right here. And so if you've already created an object and it's not following along with you for whatever reason, so let's say that I was to create something else and we'll make this very simple. We'll just make it a box like this. Let's say we were to make it a component 
and let's say we forgot to set it as a face me component, you don't need to explode this and go back and recreate it. What you can do instead is you can go into that components section right here. And in the desktop version, you go into the components section as well. But what you wanna do is you wanna find that object and you wanna click on this little drop down right here. Well, notice how when you click on this drop down, it's gonna give you the option to add always face camera to an object that's a component inside of your model. And then you do the same thing with like character models. So you just use the freehand tool or you can use the other modeling tools as well, but I'm just gonna freehand the outside of this. And what I wanna do is I wanna get the outline of this picture of Bonnie, right? And I wanna split it up by wherever the colors change. So I'm basically tracing the different color areas. All right, then once you're done with that, you can just select this, make it a component. We're gonna use an always face camera just like this. Now I have a Bonnie model that's going to always face my camera in 2D. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about anything we talked about in this video. I will link to the next video in the series as soon as it's ready to go. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.